Hello, I'm Marquetta and today we will have a look at the beat that uh, a student of ours brought uh, to one of our courses. It turned out it was a beat from David Cookerman and his course uh, Handsome Dojo. So thank you David for the inspiration. And uh, we will have a look at how to play this beat um, and then we will see how we can transform it into another beat. Um, so the beat is very simple, it goes like this. Ding, ding, slap. Ding, ding, slap. Ding, ding, slap. Ding, ding, slap. And also we can add melody to this beat, which uh, we can do when we repeat the beat twice. Ding, ding, slap. Ding, ding, slap. Instead of the second slap, we will add four notes, the lowest four notes on your instrument. We will play them in a row, one, two, three, four. So it will be these four notes, and I will play like this. Ding, ding, slap, ding, ding, one, two, three, four, ding, ding, slap, ding, ding, one, two, three, four. We can speed it up a little bit. Instead of playing one, two, three, four, you would play three, four, five, six, these four notes. Or you can even move them higher here. So this is how it's going to sound. The numbers I'm saying are just the numbers assigned to each of the notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, so this is how you can play with it. You can also keep the two bass notes just the same. <laughs> and you can move the two notes that you play with them. So instead of playing one, two, three, four, you can play one, two, three, like this. Boom, boom, slap. Boom, boom, da da di da Boom, boom, slap. Boom, boom, da da Higher. Lower. Even higher. A bit lower. You can maybe use just two chords. Or you can double the strife when you play the four notes. Let's have a look how we can transform this beat into another beat. So first thing we are going to do is we are going to try to feel the subdivision of this beat. The smallest bits possible that we can feel or that we can find and play. So we can feel this division. it 
to the B. So where the division is not played by the right hand, it's going to be played by the left hand. And it's going to sound like this. Really try to feel for yourself. Before you start adding uh, the subdivision with the left hand. the subdivision you can either play it as a ghost note somewhere you know in between the notes also the last three subdivisions you don't really have to play them you can just make a little bit space in the beat so we will just play the two like this to play it on the interstitial between the notes or if you want to move your left hand on the shoulder it will just sound a little bit different here it doesn't resonate that much here it resonates a little bit more on the shoulder so this is the beat and I add so each of the subdivisions except for at the very end of of the beat. Let's see what happens if we leave some of these subdivisions out again. We added them first, now we're going to be taking them out. Let's take the first one out and instead of playing ding and ding and slap, we will play ding ding and slap, ding ding and slap, ding ding and slap, ding ding and slap, ding ding and slap. Again, to complete the conversion of the beat we are gonna replace the second ding that right hand plays with another shoulder pet and it's gonna be like this boom instead of boom we play boom instead of You can use the same melody, you can add it to the new beat. Or you can keep the entire beat all the time. And add a note or two or three after, after the entire beat. There is still space.
time understanding what happened when the beat transited from one to another one and try to do it with other beats maybe something nice will happen um, thank you for watching and enjoy science